Hello everybody. So I am here in my car and I don't feel like getting out of my car yet because I am so excited. I am so hyped up right now. Um, and it's definitely the joy of the Lord. And so I just wanted to pop on and make a video. You are nice and snug with my Taco Bell hot sauces in this little compartment. Oops. And yeah, and so I'm just going to start praying and start talking and hopefully this will go somewhere in the name of Jesus. <laughs> in the name of Jesus, hopefully it goes somewhere. All right, thank you Lord so much for this beautiful day that you have created. I pray that you will speak through this video. I pray that you will set our hearts on fire for you. I pray that we will walk out of this video with a stronger understanding of you. And that includes me, Lord Jesus. I pray that you will use me. I believe in my heart that you are with me and you are guiding me and you want me to say the right things. And I pray that you will hold back my tongue, hold back the things that could um, distract people, that could uh, set up obstacles for people that could, um, you know, that the devil could use to, to send out destruction. I don't want any of that. I want you, Lord, and I want you to speak through this video today. Enlighten this place today in the name of Jesus. I pray that you will set our hearts on fire. Did I already say that? And I pray that we will fear you with everything that we have in the name of Jesus. Amen. Okay, fear. That's exactly what I want to talk about. Fear is what I want to talk about today because over the course of the last two weeks, God has really spoken to my heart. I'm going to turn off my fan because I feel like I feel like that's making a lot of noise. God has really been speaking to me about fear. I heard two things and read one thing, I think it was, about searing the conscience. Um, and one of them was in the Bible. The very last time that this was brought to my attention, it was in the Bible. God was speaking directly to me. Don't let your conscience be seared. Normally, if I'm if I'm hearing something over and over, I'm like, okay, God's wanting to, to speak to me on this. Um, and I really believe he was speaking to me. Like, don't let your conscience get seared. You, you gotta fear me. You gotta fear me. And so I've been just praying on it. And I've been trying to soak in his presence as much as I can. I've been trying to, you know, just release my life to him as much as I can. And um, just to allow him to work in my life, to allow his presence and his joy to infuse my life. Something that he brought to my attention that was so crystal clear to me was when I focus on him, when I focus on Jesus, everything else disappears. All of the, the fear, the fear that we put in man, the fear that we put in these demons, the fear that we put in Satan himself, yuck. All that goes away once we start to focus on the Lord and once we fear the Lord, when we fear the Lord, there isn't any room to fear anything else. Fearing the Lord is is different. It's a different kind of fear. It's a different kind of fear than fearing man, than fearing demons. It's like when you fear your father or when you, you are, you know, you want your dad to, um, to, to look on you with, with good spirits and you don't want to be separated from your dad or whoever it is in your life. You know, you, you don't want to be away from this person and it scares you to think of your life without them. That's really what it is. That's really what it is. And, um, and you know, I don't want to mess up this relationship with God. I don't want to mess up this relationship with God. So that is, that is, I, I believe that is the fear that, that, that we should be approaching God with. Um, with that said, I, I don't just see him as my dad. I see him as my, um, as my God. I don't just see him as my dad, although I do. And I love you, dad. And I love you, dad, if you're watching this. <laughs> I have two dads, okay? I want to share this experience with you that I, I had the other night. I believe that the Lord showed me in the mid of night a spirit. I think it was a spirit. I think it was a, a demonic spirit 
or maybe it was just a visualization, but I saw a, I woke up in the middle of the night and I was like jolted awake and we have a bathroom next to our bedroom and I looked in my bathroom and I saw a figure of a man in a tangible form, a man holding a gun and pointed it at me. Um, but, but the strangest thing was I wasn't afraid. I was not afraid in the slightest. Um, in fact, I said, get out, get out in the name of Jesus. And I started laughing in the spirit. Like I was so happy that the Lord opened my eyes to something. Um, taking it back like a couple hours before that happened, I was deep in memorizing Psalm 112 and Isaiah 54. So if you don't know Psalm 112 and Isaiah 54, please look them up. I'm trying to learn the entire chapters, um, but I'm taking it one step at a time. But they, I didn't realize they both are in ways talking about fear, the fear of the Lord uh, and how important it is to fear the Lord because the heritage that comes from that and the, the uh, generations that will be blessed from that is so, it's just so important. They're both declarations from the Lord. Sharing with you what will happen when you fear the Lord and you stop fearing man. I've been memorizing these and I had just spent time memorizing, 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 trying, trying to memorize these things. And I was like, okay, that's enough for tonight. Turn off my phone, fall asleep. And then I wake up to this figure in my bath, in my bathroom. It only lasted like four seconds and then it dissipated. But I know it was spiritual and I know it wasn't my mind playing a trick on me. You know how people will say it's just your mind. It wasn't. It, it, it was in the spiritual realm. It was definitely spiritual. Um, but I did not have fear. And I believe that's because I was just indulging in the word of God. And I was just submerged in the word of God and in his presence. And I was wrapped around so tightly around the truth of of. God. Um, Isaiah 54, 17, the very last verse is, um, I don't want to say the wrong verse. <laughs> no weapon forged against you will prevail. You will refute every tongue that accuses you. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And this is their vindication from me, declares the Lord. And so the fact that I was just in my Bible with that, and then I opened my eyes and this happened, I fell asleep, opened my eyes and that, that happened. It really helped me understand, okay, when I put my fear in the Lord, when I believe him, when I trust him, and fearing the Lord, by the way, is um, when you fear the Lord, you trust him more. You're afraid of not being close to him. And so you get closer to him by obeying him. And you can only obey him if you trust in the words that he says. And so because I was trusting in him and when you trust in him, everything else fades away. Nothing is scary because I believe the truth of that. I believe that weapons will be formed against me, but they won't prevail. They won't prevail. And that doesn't necessarily mean that like a shooter won't come up and, and shoot me right now. That could very much happen. My, my son died. You know, but you know what's so awesome is that he's protected right now. He is under the, <laughs> he is protected. He's so safe from harm right now. It's ridiculous. This is another one I'm learning. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will never, uh, will live even though they die. <laughs> even though they die. Um, and what is the other part, God? And those who, and whoever, <laughs> I get hung up on the those and who's, you know, um, but whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? Um, and who was he talking to? He was talking to a lady who, oh, Mary uh, or Martha when Lazarus was, was dead. It's not just, I believe in the existence of the Lord. It's, I believe in what you're saying. I believe in what you're saying because what he says is who he is. You know, do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not just, I know that God exists, which is great. And that's amazing. And when, when you, you know, confess with your mouth that 
Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that he raised, he was raised from the dead, you know, you will be saved and salvation is a beautiful gift from God. But to take it even a step further, believe, actually believe the words that he is saying out of his mouth. Believe those words um, because it's going to make your life so much better. And that's not just the reason, by the way, because as I'm learning this and as I'm actually learning to trust in the words that he's saying, my relationship with him is getting so tight. Like I can't see it any other way. I can't see life any other way. How can life be any different? My joy is actually coming from the Lord being glorified. It's not just, oh, I feel happy. The joy of the Lord is not just a feeling. <laughs> it's not just a feeling. It's like there is a, a pureness to exalting him and 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 watching him be glorified there is something that happens within you that just makes you want to scream it, at least it makes me want to scream i'm like yes yes you deserve it yes you deserve it and you're getting it and that makes me so happy and i want to bring more people to you lord so anyway that's all i wanted to say <laughs> That's all I wanted to say. I'm going to cut this video now because I have other things to do today. Um, but Lord be with me. Lord be with them in the name of Jesus. And I pray for us that we will have a fear of the Lord, that we will be on fire, that we will be screaming in our cars prayers over our children, that we will be praying over ch our children intensely, that we will be intentional with raising our children, our families, and, and, and speaking to the people in our lives. Um, and mentoring people and just having friendships with people and being somebody willing to be mentored too. All for the glory of God. Okay. Love you so much. Love you tremendously. I will see you next video. Thank you for this car talk. And until next time, bye-bye.